In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to place a curved pipe between two nodes using subsurface utility engineering. And the thing that I want to demonstrate here is how to do so at a given radius. If you notice when you go into the place link between nodes command, for your curve variables, your options are pull and segment length and slope angle. You do not have an option here for radius, so we'll need to use a workaround in order to place that curve at a given radius. So before we place our link between nodes, we'll simply go into our drawing menu here, and I'm going to place an arc, and you want to use the methods start, end, and middle, and you would key in the specified radius that you desire. In this case, I'm just going to use 500. So I'm going to identify the start of the arc, which will be here, and the end of the arc, which is here. Next, you'll determine the direction of your sweep angle. So I'm going to select this. Okay, so now we have just a regular microstation element out here that we can use as a guide to place our curved link between nodes. So now I'll go into place link between nodes. I'm going to set up the feature definition, so storm sewer circular RCP is fine. The name prefix is fine, and the description here for the pipe size, we can change that to 18 inches. We're prompted to select start node, so we'll select this first node here. And now you see on the heads up display that if you wish to place a curve in this pipe, you'll want to click the Alt key. And now you are prompted to select the node at the end of the curve. which is here. And now you are prompted to select the three point. So this three point is going to be at the midpoint of this arc that you've drawn. So we'll just go down here and select our midpoint snap. And as you can see, I can snap directly to that point. And now you have the curved pipe that has been placed at a radius of 500.